what to do if your Australian visa application gets rejected. There's nothing worse than spending time and money on preparing for your Australian visa application, only to have it rejected in the end. But don't be discouraged or give up. There are options available to you, such as filing an appeal or reapplying for a new visa. For detailed information watch this video till the end and yes like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Warm welcome from Brain Drain Consultants to our immigration information and news channel, A2Z Immigration Updates. Let's have a look at the reasons why your Australian visa application got rejected. Often, the reason for your Australian visa application rejection is missing documents or mistakes made on the reviewer's side. Your rejection usually comes with a refusal letter from the immigration officer highlighting a list of reasons why you were rejected. To appeal or fix your Australian visa application, you must carefully read what you may have missed out. Your visa application may be denied because of the following reasons. Character requirement failure. You could fail to meet the Australian visa character stipulation due to reasons such as past criminal records or if you are suspected of being involved in organized crime. Failure to answer additional requests. If you fail to provide additional documents or information that the immigration office has requested, you will be rejected. False information. You need to be honest and provide accurate information when it comes to your application. If you are caught giving false information, you will be rejected. Incomplete application form. If you submit an incomplete application form, your visa request could be denied. Invalid passport. Your passport must be issued during the last 10 years and valid for at least 6 months after your return from Australia. Missing documents. Your visa will be denied if there is a missing required document for the Australian visa application. Financial means. If you can't provide proof that you can support your trip to Australia, you won't be granted a visa. Health insurance. It is mandatory to have health insurance when you apply for a student visa in Australia, failure to have one will result in a rejection. Now let us know how to appeal for your visa rejection. If your visa was rejected, you can apply for an appeal online via the Administrative Appeals Tribunal, AAT. However, you would need to send your request within 28 days after notice of your rejection. Bear in mind that an appeal fee could set you back by approximately 1,826 Australian dollars, and you would need to pay the fee before the 28-day deadline ends. You may be eligible for a reduced fee of up to 50% if you cannot afford it. You will be fully refunded if there's a negative decision towards your appeal. If there's a positive decision, you will receive a 50% refund. After you have applied for your request, the AAT will send you a letter confirming your application. Read through the letter carefully for any explanation or information needed to review your request. The duration for your appeal will vary depending on the visa in question. Student refusal 530 days, student cancellation 450 days, temporary work visas 885 days. Skilled work visas 578 days. Note this is just an estimate. Let us now know, how can you apply for your Australian visa again? If appealing is too costly or would take too long for you, you can reapply for another visa. Be extra careful this time by check every single document you fill or attach to your application. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for your valuable time, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.